Jerry, take it away. Uh, okay, let's see. I guess this is, let me share my screen first. Um, get all this Zoom stuff out of the way. Um, okay, so I'm doing a walkthrough of this MR to add these badges to this commits view. Uh, these badges, particularly the, the ones that contain the tag names. Um, so I guess the first approach I tried was something like this. Um, and this was just figuring out how to get tags for a given commit at all. Um, and this was just something quick thrown together to unblock front end development, but then we found that it was just like Hamel stuff. So we didn't actually have that much uh, front end stuff to do. Um, so it wasn't really necessary. Um, the problems with this that we find immediately are this thing is per commit and we're calling this for every commit on that page. And I think the default page size is like 40. So yes, Sean? Uh, sorry, quick question. Um, aren't we already downloading these tags on another page or not <laughs> in this way? The, oh, specifically for this feature, we want the tags that point to a given commit. To the commit. But on the other page that I think you're referring to, there's the like the commits detail page, which is like, it just shows uh, not just tags, but like references. So including branches that contain that commit. So there's like a potentially huge list of things for older commits. Um, but anyways, this is like a slightly different uh specificity i don't know these are more specific okay. so it has to point directly to the commit that's what we're trying to show um anyways in this like naive approach that i've done um we're basically doing n plus one requests to Giddily for every commit up to like 40 per page so it was pretty bad performance wise the other thing was um, it, the partial that we actually render these badges in is uh, potentially cached. I don't actually know what the status of this feature flag is, but if we change tags around, which is potentially a thing, it would not, uh, well, we would be showing stale data in the, in the cache. I do know about that, that's one of my feature flags. Um, so it's currently disabled because uh, it's broken. Um, but it's not really broken. It relies on a suggesting Banzai. So basically, once we change the redactor step in Banzai, we can turn that on and the commit rendering will be much faster. Um, but uh, yes, it's not um, it's not actually enabled anywhere at the moment. Uh, okay, cool. Let's see. Um, so yeah, those are the two issues with this first naive approach. So the second or the next the next attempt is um, trying to address n plus one through making changes to the RPC that we're actually calling. So instead of calling additionally this on top of the find commits RPC that we're calling, we actually just kind of change find commits to also optionally return tags. Um, so that's this merge request. It's actually walking through two MRs in this presentation. Um, so I went through this. It was actually not as hard as I thought. Um, so just kind of looking around through the find commits RPC, we can actually see that it's just, you know, tacking things on to get log. So for every like option that you send it, it kind of just does 
an extra little thing. So what does that look like? Like there's a format. Yeah. So you can see if you're like, oh, if we're, you know, adding short stats or trailers, it's just changing the format to include like an extra little thing. So I guess what that kind of looks like is if we're like, I think the default is just like get the hash. And then the other things are like, you know, some delimiter, and then also get the tags. Um, that's basically what I added to Giddily. And it was not that bad for um, my first Golang MR. But you can also see in that same MR, you can see the Giddily team just kind of puts me on their back and carries me to the finish line. So it was uh, it was interesting to learn that the Giddily team is a pretty all right bunch. Um, anyways, so going back to Rails, uh, once we actually got that merged, uh, I had to ask them to publish the new Giddily gem to use on the Rails side. And uh, that was, so there's no actual schedule of when that gem gets published. It's kind of on demand, as I learned. So just had to ask for that. And then that solves the n plus one issue because we don't have to make, yes, Sean? Sorry to be asking all the questions, but is the reason that the you re need you need to republish the Giddily gem is because the RPC signature has changed? Uh, like what, what why does the gem need to be published? That's an naive question. The, the, the signature is changed to include. So I guess this MR actually adds an option to include the tags. So it's not like by default we will include the tags when we. Call this RPC. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. But is the reason, uh, like, what triggers the need to republish the Giddily gem? I should ask about that, I guess. It, it is because the request signature has changed. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's actually, I think the response, if you, if the response includes like new fields that aren't like that the client doesn't understand, I think it just kind of ignores them. Mm -hmm. So it's it's actually safe to not have it, but having it means that we can actually use those new fields. Okay. Um, okay, anyways, uh, changing the RPC fix the M plus one issue, and then hashing. Um, let me just, oh, I'll just find it here. Oops. Commit software. Is it hash key? Yeah, so this is what the, the actual hash key looks like. And since we load all the tags uh, for every request to that page, so like the tags themselves won't be cached because they're coming through the RPC anyways. Um, we just do like a calculate a checksum, and then we'll use that as part of the cache key. And that I guess that's kind of it for this MR. Is there any questions? Uh, Igor? I have a quick question. Yeah, so the, the feature is to show the commits to which attack references or um, or to show all the text that includes a particular commit. It's to show the, the tags that point to a, a list of commits. So it's like that commits view that is basically a git log. It's to show tags that point to each of those. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a bit different here yeah, to what we th see on the commit show page yeah commit show currently like shows all the branches yeah that include particular commit yeah so no it's a bit different okay yeah thank you very much thank you for your presentation yeah great
Well, that was really great, Jerry. And I'm glad that your first um, um, effort at modifying Giddley was an enjoyable one. I'll pass that feedback on to the Giddley team, actually. Um, and that was also a great presentation. If you just want to drop the um, BMRs in the in the uh, issue in our shared document, that would be awesome. And um, yeah, thanks very much. I'm going to stop the recording unless anyone else has any questions for Jerry. <laughs>